I basically got to wear amazing outfits, so I was happy. She wants to be the leader of the gang. I love him, man. I think honesty is literally just so innocent. <laughs> Hello guys, it's Max and this is Flip Your Wig. What can I tell you? It's British humour and you are in for a bit of a treat. Starring and executively produced by Noel Fielding, this series premieres globally on Friday the 1st on Apple TV. That's this weekend with two episodes. It's called The Completely Made Up Adventures of Dick Turpin. And anyone that knows me knows I adore Noel Fielding. He's just so lovely and silly and weird and yes... He's also my favourite on the Bake Off, so I'm really looking forward to this series. I know what you're thinking. Who is this guy with the incredible cheekbones? Where does he get his hair done? One day, I'll be the most famous highwayman in all of England. You are literally about to be hanged, you idiot! Quick note to my gang. If you were planning a rescue, now would be a good time. I've had a preview and I can tell you it's silly, it's a bit magical and it's just random. It's like everything you would expect from Noel Fielding with a cast that really, truly do it justice. Expect to see Hugh Bonneville, Tamsin Gregg, Asim Chowdhury, Dolly Wells, Joe Wilkinson and Mark Heap alongside loads of other British names. I think when they phoned me up and said, do you want to play Dick Turpin? That was about as much as we had. And then when I said yes, they, it was like, okay, well, should we go into a room and work out how that's going to work? Right, sit down, chill, because you are about to check out the exclusive Q&A session with the cast from this brand new, the completely made up Adventures of Dick Turpin series. Sorry, I don't know why I just did that. Enjoy. I mean, we wanted to reimagine the character. The real character of Dick Turpin is probably quite a sinister chap, you know, probably murdering, killing people, robbing stagecoaches, got hanged. So and we really wanted to make him a little bit more of a childlike, free-thinking dandy, really. More like the Adam Ant, Dick Turpin. We sort of took what Adam sort of pumped out into the universe and then we tried to sort of uh, run with that concept. When, when I was first blackmailed into doing it, it was, um, there was only Noel attached at the time and so that was, uh, that was the big draw and the compulsion, in fact, compulsory. <laughs> <laughs> it was a real joy to work with Hugh. We didn't think he'd say yes, obviously. We asked Hugh to do it and he said yes and we thought Canton was joking. So, it became very real very quickly once <laughs> he said, yeah, I'll be the thief taker. Dick Turpin, new leader of the Essex gang. Highwaymen murder and rob. You're not a highwayman, Dick. I was actually pregnant when we filmed this show, so quite a lot of it was extremely challenging for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it was late nights in Epping Forest. Um, there were some really dodgy people around, and that's just... Noel and Hugh and Dwayne. Um, <laughs> Dogging. <laughs> Dogging. Um, uh, yeah, I couldn't go near most of the animals and I couldn't eat a lot of the food, um, but I had a huge amount of fun. <laughs> I was really excited to bully Hugh Bonneville. Our paths have crossed. We were in a, a, a play once. Where there was only one performance of the play. It was that good. It was that good. <laughs> it was a fundraiser and I got so giddy because of the cast. Uh, that he had to take me aside and tell me off and tell me to calm down. So I thought it'd be really good to be in a television show where I was given lines where I could put him down, for real, and get paid for it, because he didn't get a penny for the play. I've got this. We strike on three. One, two. We'll get the next one. Growing up, I don't want to make you sound you know, feel old, but growing up watching Noel, he's a comedy <laughs> legend. Um, We're in the same class. No, I know! <laughs> I was very gifted, very, very <laughs> observant. No, um, you know, he is kind of, when I think of, no, I think of obviously Boosh and that surrealist kind of comedy. So, you know, for an opportunity to mix that with something broader, but in a way where you still feel like you have that surreal element and that kind of irreverent style. The cast list is incredible. Like, you know, it's like, it literally is like an all-star cast of some of the finest, you know, British comedians. You turn up and... You know, if you see two stuntmen, you know, that's sort of standard. But when there are 12, <laughs> oh, man. you think, hang on, something's up. I think it was after the third jump that the harness really began to, you know, dig into the crown jewels. And, <laughs> and we both conceded that when, I don't know how high that thing was, but it felt about 40 feet high when yeah. we were up there. And, and um, I we, turned into a, uh, my knees were knocking. I was a gibbering like wreck. I was in the pink pamper. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. And then I, I thought, oh, Hugh's going to probably done loads of stunts in his time. I can't say anything. And I said, I'm a little bit scared. And he went, I'm fucking shitting myself. <laughs> <laughs>
I've seen you prancing around having your funny shirts. <laughs> I'm new school, and there's going to be less violence on my watch. Is there anything that I could have done to improve your highway robbery experience? Well, I think it's maybe a return to uh, British comedy in line with Monty Python, Spike Milligan, Peter Cook, Dudley Moore, you know, Vic Rees, Chris Morris. It's more that kind of, from that sort of ilk, you know, weirder stuff. Obviously, The Office is amazing, and I love The Office, you know, but I guess that uh, spawned millions of other shows that were like that and very real um, and awkward. And this is much more visual and whimsical and um, joyful, maybe. The thing I messed up on is, you know, sometimes when you agree to play a character, then you meet the kind of wardrobe people, makeup, you have a chat about what you think you should look like. And I was like, oh, I wanted to have like 10 robes on and I want like skulls hanging off me and shit. I was like, I want to look like a proper warlock. And then that's the juxtaposition of like him being a really shit warlock, but he looks the part. Believe it or not, I'm only 16 stone, right? <laughs> but when I put this warlock stuff on, I weighed myself and I was... 30 stone, so almost double my weight. So I was walking around like, and if I wanted to shit, that's a 20 minute D-rig. So I was exhausted and I had teeth as well and a wig. So I looked incredible. There's only one man brainless enough to steal from the syndicate. <laughs> Thank you, Dick. I don't know what we do without you. We started this show about five years ago. So there were points where I thought it wasn't going to happen, you know, and, uh, once we got into filming and the scripts were done and this great cast was assembled, it was just fun every day. Right, so it's called The Completely Made-Up Adventures of Dick Turpin and stars that man with a great eyeliner. Miss and Old Fielding is out this weekend. Um, what do you think? Are you into this sort of vibe, a bit weird, a bit silly, a bit a bit whimsical, as Noel put it? Um, let me know in the comments section. British humour like this is so just brilliant. I love it. Let me know in the comment section how you feel about this. Will you be watching it? Are you a fan of Noel Fielding and his earlier work? Because don't forget, before he was a presenter on The Great British Bake Off, he was known for his comedy and his acting. <laughs> so this is no strange thing for him to do. For those of you that are thinking, what's going on? Where's Prue? Where's Paul? And where are the cakes? <laughs> All right, guys, make sure you subscribe, turn your notifications on, and I'll be back famous. soon with more videos. Dick Turpin. Dick Turpin. Dick Turpin. Dick Turpin. Dick Turpin. Dick Turpin. I want this dick in my hands as soon as possible. <laughs> that sounds weird. Yeah, that did sound a bit weird, sorry. I have a good feeling about this show.